Good morning, everybody. This is Dr. Stevens, and I'm excited to bring this very short video to you. I want to welcome you here to the classroom, and I hope you're excited about what we're doing here in the classroom, having discussions, meeting each other. You have some assignments to do, so hopefully you're moving along and getting some reading done. But what I wanted to do in a very succinct way is bring to you some live information about something that will be able to help you in terms of business communications. And that is when it concerns written and even electronic correspondence. I want to give you three things that are going to help your incredible career because you're here both personally and professionally, and you're taking a business communication course in order to communicate much more articulately. So let me give you three things that are going to be exceedingly helpful for you. Number one, always have a subject line. No matter what you're producing electronically or in some type of written form with pencil and paper, always make sure you have a subject to do whoever you're writing to. Number two, always keep your communication short. Tell them what you're going to tell them. Tell them and tell them what you told them, as they always say. And what I want you to be able to do is keep it succinct. Only have three things that you want people to understand in that report. If, it, if it's less than that, it's less than that. But your subject should always have, or the content rather, should always have two or three things. And that's it. And finally, there should be a call to action. If you want somebody to do something after you're finished writing to them, whether it's an email or something else, then let them know. So as an example, Let's just say that you were having problems getting into the classroom, making a connection into the classroom through our learning management system. Let's say you were having a problem getting a textbook. Then your subject should say something similar, such as textbook issues, can you assist? Go into the content. I tried logging in, I couldn't gain connection. Would you have any assistance or should I just call the help desk? And Third and last is then a call to action. Can you help me? What is the number of the help desk? What is the email system? Or I'm calling the help desk myself. That's a great way for you to illustrate good communication flow to the person that you're looking to be with. I look forward to bringing more of these as we get on in our class. Have a great rest of the day and a blessed day. Take care.